Hello, everyone. I am Zhao Chuan. Today, let's draw the hind limbs of Pachycephalosaurus. The hind limbs of Pachycephalosaurus were short but stout, and the calves were long and muscular. It had four toes on its feet. When drawing, we must focus on how its hind limbs and trunk were connected, and understand how the muscles of the thighs grew from the pelvis. We start by drawing the pelvis of Pachycephalosaurus. It had a wide pelvis with the sacral vertebrae in the middle and the iliac bones on either side. Then we simply outline the front half of its body and its tail. The center of the iliac bone is slightly depressed. When Pachycephalosaurus was alive, the apparent depression in the middle of its iliac bones was filled with many muscles that made up its thighs. These muscles were roughly divided into three groups, front, side, and back. The calves of Pachycephalosaurus were relatively long. Looking down from the top, we can clearly see that it has a set of plump muscles on the side, and the root of this muscle is connected to the heel. When walking, Pachycephalosaurus had the soles of its feet lifted, only with its toes stepping on the ground. It had four toes on its feet. Three functional toes were used for walking and had flat toenails at the ends. The other toe was small and left the ground when walking with a pointy toenail. We draw some textures on the surface of the toenails, some big folds on the back of the toes, and big pads on the underside of the toes. Next, we outline its abdomen, with a layer of skin membrane attached between the side of the abdomen and the thighs. The back of its thighs was also connected to the root of its tail with skin. Then we draw its other hind limb. Most of this hind limb is blocked by the abdomen, only the part below the ankle is visible. On this foot, we can see its regressed little toe, with a sharp toenail. Good. Like this, we've finished drawing the hind limbs of Pachycephalosaurus.